A participant of the Atesh military partisan movement carried out a sabotage on the railway near Moscow. He organized an explosion to prevent the Russians from carrying out military supplies to the front, this is reported in the Telegram channel of the movement. They published there the footage and indicated the place of the sabotage. It is noted that the saboteur successfully destroyed the relay cabinet near the Golovkovo railway station. It is located in Selneknegorsk district of Moscow region of Russia. This action hindered the movement of trains on the railway line around Moscow, which is used by the aggressor country for military purposes. Our goal is to stop the Putin regime's military supplies to the front line. It is possible to accomplish this. In order to do this, we need the help of people who are on the territory of the Russian Federation, Atesh pointed out, calling for people to join the movement. Ukrainian partisans conduct sabotage at Tambov region railway, transporting Russian missiles. Ukrainian partisans conducted a sabotage on the railway near the settlement of Pervomeskoy in Tambov region of the Russian Federation. This was reported by the Atesh Partisan Movement on Telegram. On the 30th of January 2024, an agent of our movement conducted a sabotage on the railway near the settlement of Pervomeskoy Tambov region, stated the message. According to the information of the coordinators of the underground, the agents set fire to a relay cabinet as a result of which stopped the use of the railway, which was used to transfer missiles to the arsenal of the Russian Aerospace Forces. In addition, the guerrillas also made public the coordinates of the destroyed facility 52.451-2500711-41.47226-135-0282. As noted by the movement agents, they have been scouting the routes and logistics schedule of the Russian occupiers' military cargo depots for a long time. The preparation has borne fruit, thanks to the agent for his work, the underground coordinators noted. Recently, representatives of the resistance forces identified warehouses with ready-made aviation and missile technology at the Michurinsk plant in the Tambov region. The information has been transmitted to the Ukrainian defense forces. In temporarily occupied Crimea, partisans discovered Russian air defense systems covering the Crimean bridge. Earlier, Ukrainian partisans obtained classified information about missile production on Russian territory. On January 6, Ukrainian armed forces destroyed a railway bridge near Granitnoy village of Donetsk region. Pyotr Andriyashenko, advisor to the mayor of Mariupol, informed about this on his Telegram channel, the bridge, which is under construction, was supposed to be part of the railway route between Russia and Crimea. The bridge is considered a very important military logistic infrastructure facility. The destruction of the bridge prevents the shipment of military cargo from Rostov.at at the time of the strike, there were tanks full of fuel and vehicles of the occupying soldiers on the railway bridge. The number of victims during the incident is not reported, Andriyashenko said that the location of the air defense system deployed in Mariupol, which tried to shoot down the missile during the incident, has also been determined. The mayor's assistant says that the Ukrainian army will take advantage of this information. Russians constructed 30-kilometer defense line with 2,000 railway cars. The Russians built a 30-kilometer line of defense from more than 2,000 railway cars. This was reported by Deep State Analytical Community. The continuous construction stretches along the branch line from the railway station in Olenivka to Volnovaka and has about 2,100 wagons of various types. It is reported that the construction of this massive defensive line began in July 2023. For its construction, apparently, rolling stock was used, stolen, from the temporarily occupied territories. Such a defensive structure, which in fact represents a solid wall, is a very serious obstacle in the way of advancing troops. Given that some sections of the railway track are built with a high roadbed, such a defensive line is a full-fledged defensive shaft. 
It is possible to overcome it only after large-scale engineering works, disengagement of wagons, removal from tracks, or movement to another place. However, these engineering works will be accompanied by the counteraction of the Russians. In addition to problems for Ukrainian troops, such a line of defense also creates problems for the Russians themselves. Logistics for advanced positions can be difficult due to an obstacle. In addition, such a barrier creates an obstacle to maneuver. This is a very specific engineering structure, the effectiveness of which is difficult to assess. The idea is clear, an obstacle to the advancement of the defense forces. It can be considered as a separate line of defense because it is extremely difficult to damage, move or blow up the 30 kilometer mass of metal and the movement of equipment through such a blockage without breaking through the corridor is impossible, writes the deep state team. This is not the first time the Russians have built huge engineering barriers as part of a full-scale Russian-Ukrainian war. In April 2023, it became known that the Russians built a solid 70-kilometer anti-tank ditch in Zaporizhia, which stretched from the village of Semenivka to the village of Marinivka.